Welcome back. Let's pick up where we left off. You made a commitment to make one small change and had it written it down uh, with a date to make your goal timely. So good for you. Now I would like to share a technique that has worked for me. Have you ever heard of the Pomodoro technique? Take a look at this cute little kitchen timer. How could something like this help you? The technique has been around for a while and I've used it to help in a critical point in my studies. I was completing an individual studies project. Those of you who have taken a course like this will know that it's like distance education course with very little structure. It is the perfect kind of course to go and explore new ideas, but it's also a course that takes a lot of self-directed effort and procrastination can lead to failure. Unfortunately, I was going down that failure road. So I applied all my learning strategies and nothing that I had learned to that point really helped me. I knew why I was procrastinating. I knew that I should divide the tasks into chunks. I had talked it over with my mentors, but still the procrastination continued and I wanted a change. The Pomodoro or tomato description was used because the inventor of this technique, Francesco Carrillo, first used his mother's kitchen timer, which looked pretty like a pretty red tomato, to set aside chunks of time to work with focus on one part of a task. This gets to the basics of dealing with procrastination. You divide your task into small chunks, baby steps, and then you work to complete the steps. Now a word of warning, do not use your phone to time you. What will probably happen is you'll get distracted from your work and start using social media or YouTube. Technology can be our friend, but if you have a big problem with procrastination, you must put your phone down and concentrate on your task. So in a nutshell, here is the technique that saved my degree and allowed me to be here with you at KPU. Step number one, choose the task. Step number two, set the timer for 25 minutes. No interruptions are allowed and turn off your phone. Step three, work until the timer rings and put a check mark on a piece of paper. Step number four, take a short break. Step number five, do up to four Pomodoros and then take a longer break. So give it a try because it may work for you and save you from a lot of problems. Of course, if you want more structured help, please come to see me or one of the other learning strategists. We can help you pull this all together. Good luck and I'll see you soon in the KPU Learning Center.